and here is one about being in a very, very, very unsatisfactory marriage, which I don't know about yet, obviously. <laughs> okay, and it's called The Medic's Wife. In winter, when we walked the oil slick tarmac, you told me to hold on to the time we have. I looked down at you and laughed, and the night hid your frown. I miss the signs. Now you hold your books up to your face and breathe, inhaling knowledge like a drug you can't get enough of. When we make love, you peel off my skin and watch my body blue and bloated, like the ones you deconstruct of the scalpel. Your palms sweat as you flip me over and sit back at your desk where the blank, submissive page bids you welcome. Okay, I've got a slightly more upbeat one now, uh, because I'm going to do three, one like that, one a bit more upbeat, and then another one also a bit like that. So here's the relief. This one's called The Undergraduate Sellout, and yeah. <laughs> there is sadness on the pavement where your cigarette ash burned and melted it to gold. The night has turned to that colour you used to see when you mixed all the paint colours together. Words were your get out of jail free card. You waited for the big break. Now you're writing jingles for a company selling vegan toothpaste. <laughs> but in those eyes, lies a spark of star quality, and the odd iambic pentameter sneaks its way into those empty songs of bright to burly whites. <laughs> you feel the rhythm in the streetlights, the pattern of words for every smile. You scribble sonnets on cereal packets, every Christmas card an epic. I watch how your eyes glaze over as you wait on a street corner, the warmth of rain on your neck. Longing to write, and be read, to read and to think in your last short years of thinking at all. <laughs> this last one is called Night Girl and I originally wrote it a couple of years ago and I look back at it today and took out all the rhymes. <laughs> <laughs> so here is Night Girl without all the pretentious lines which rhyme. <laughs> Skeleton shadows cast darkness over street lamp light. And car headlights illuminate a sobbing teenager, slumped down opposite a bus shelter. She shelters in the breathless leaves, the stars engulfed in a grey blue blanket. Her body is cloaked by a school skirt and tie. He told her it would look cuter on the floor. Scared and disregarded, she waits by the back alley. Barely post pubescent and already a slut. Thank you. <laughs>